A new approach to feeding the hungry now underway in New Jersey. Fully prepared meals available from a refrigerator for free. No questions asked. They're now popping up in several communities under the auspices of a coalition trying to deal with hunger insecurity. Here's New Jersey reporter Tony Yates. Try keeping up with Dr. Legia Carter when she's restocking one of the six refrigerators strategically placed in communities where access to fresh, healthy, free food is, or now was, nearly non-existent. Our parfaits are made at Cafe Pina. First, we source healthy grab-and-go, healthy food options from local restaurants and eateries, and also food operators. This refrigerator is at the Kismet of Kings, an after-school program in Jersey City, another program that was started from the heart. When I had a conversation with one of my young men, and he said, you know, um, you don't realize that at night I go to bed hungry. Um, that, that really did something to me. Two months ago, he and the doctor put this one in place. Placing our peanut butter and jelly sandwiches from During Cafe COVID, Pina. the doctor, a former forensics professor, and some of her former students raised money to get struggling restaurants to prepare food. They bought it and fed those in need. Eventually, she quit her job to do this full time. Grants pay for the food. I created the coalition with the intention of solving a problem. That means a lot to me. We, can have, we have snacks during our program when we're doing our classwork or when we come back to school, we're just really hungry. Tyler is a Kismet student. He's memorized the code to get his favorite. Yep, yep. She has two refrigerators in Jersey City, one each in Newark, Passaic, and Philadelphia. What we're doing matters, and you're seeing what it does every day. I wanted to create a nonprofit that would be you know, deeply disruptive around both food insecurity, but also nutritional equity. In Jersey City, Tony Yates, Channel so 7 Eyewitness News.